Hi everyone, for our video today, we'll be playing around with new to me eyeshadows and it's actually these two eyeshadow palettes from Kate Tokyo. Look at that. So I actually showed these to you guys in my previous haul video wherein I showed you guys like, you know, some um, products that I just newly picked up and some um, goodies that I picked up while I was in Tokyo a few weeks ago and these two eyeshadow palettes were actually part of that um, haul video. Now as you guys can see, the color palettes of these two is actually very very pretty and they look very attractive to me. So, um, as I said in my previous haul video that I actually was not interested in picking up like, you know, makeup products while I was in Tokyo, but when I saw these, like, you know, out of the corner of my eye when I was walking around in the drugstore there, I said, that looked actually very pretty. Look at that. And mind you, I'm actually, like, you know, very um, cautious when I'm buying, like, you know, eyeshadow um, products from Japan because, like, you know, if you're a fan of J Beauty and, like, you know, you've been following um, Japanese products, um, like, you know, for a very long time, you would have realized by now that, like, you know, these eyeshadow products from Japan are really not that pigmented. And, like, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of, like, you know, aesthetic in terms of, like, you know, adding color into the eyes. It's not, uh, the concept is not very western where it's like you know highly pigmented like you know um, extreme payoff immediate payoff but in japan it's more of like a very gradual like you know um application of color and you know the intensity is really not that um like you know opaque or bright but you know it just adds enough color into the eyes to just really um enhance um your eye color so or like you know even like your eye shape so um that's why like you know i rarely buy any like you know japanese eyeshadow products and showcase them to you guys here on my channel but anyway so when i saw this i go like okay those eyeshadows look very very interesting to me and i thought to myself okay let's just like, you know play around uh, with them and that's what we'll be doing today so i'm going to be using one palette in one eye and one palette on one eye and let's see how well they work now according to the packaging design here on the front it says designing brown eyes now i wasn't sure if also here now i wasn't sure if um these eyeshadow palettes are only like you know designed for people who have brown eyes so i went to the um k tokyo website and i was actually just very surprised to see that they actually have 10 colors available and i would actually like to tell you guys when i was at the drugstore um i think there were only four um, color variants of this product available in the um, on the display shelf and I go like this must be like you know selling very very well but anyway so I thought that as I've said that this was only like a design for um, brown um, colored eyes but when I saw what is listed here on the website and now that I have read through it uh, this eyeshadow palette is actually not designed for people with brown eyes only but basing on what I understand here there's actually one eyeshadow color here which is like in a brown tone that is actually used to contour or to deepen or to add like you know a hint of definition on the eyes so that's actually very interesting and maybe Hang on, let me just open these two palettes so we can see them properly. So this obviously looks like a brown tone color and they can actually be used to enhance your eyes while the rest can be used to, like, you know, um, dress up your eyes. And it also goes for here. So it's actually quite difficult to see which of the colors here has a brown tone in it. Maybe it's this one because the rest is a very nice, you know, a warm tone gold um, colors on it. So it's very interesting. There's always one highlight shade and there's a medium shade and all over shade and then a defining shade. Now as I have seen also in the website, there's actually a figure for you to follow. So the lightest shade on the palette here, this one is letter A and then this is letter B, C, and D. And there's actually like, you know, an, um, a um, a diagram here on the website that you can actually use to follow if you want to apply like you know um, um, eyeshadow in the way that they actually suggest it so that's actually very interesting so um, it says here on the figure that just add C so this is a B C just add C to the outer corners of the eyes to create larger looking eyes with an effortless look so um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to follow that let's just see how um, the, these eyeshadow palettes will actually you know work with us today and how well they will actually like you know enhance our eye shape 
Okay, so that's very interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swatch these color first. So I'm going to start by swatching BR6. Yeah, so BR6, so it's a very nice pinky tone shade here. And then I'm going to swatch from left to right. So I'm going to start with the lightest shade here. Ooh, very creamy um, texture. I actually love it. For a very affordable eyeshadow palette, it feels very luxurious, I have to say. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it on my arm now. Look at that very nice payoff of color, very even application of color, nice pigmentation. I mean, it's not overly pigmented, but as you guys can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Very nice. So if you have green eyes, this is going to be like fantastic or even blue eyes. This will like really, really work for you. Okay, so let's swatch the other color now. Okay, so this is the color BR8 and I'm just going to swatch again from left to right, okay? Again, love the creamy texture that I feel here on my fingertips. And let's watch this here. Nice color. Very beautiful. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's actually very, very pretty. So as you guys can see, it has a very nice, like, you know, shimmery shadows to it. But it's not overly glittery, but you can actually see that it has a very nice, like, you know, sparkly bits to it that can really dress up your eyes. It's actually very, very pretty. Because in comparison to BR6 here, the one of the pinky shades, it's more satiny in texture. Well, except for the highlighting color here, which is always, like, you know, the one that has, like, you know, a pop of color. It's actually very beautiful. Ah, oh, okay, so I can't actually wait to try this out. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to smooch a little bit closer so that we guys can see how these eyeshadow colors apply in the eyes. And I'm going to start by using an eye primer. So this is from Milk, and this is their Hydro Eye Grip Primer. And the reason why I'm using an eye primer today is because it's very hot and humid today, and I'm actually already sweating when I'm doing this video. So we just need something to ensure that all of the eyeshadow colors that I'm using is just like, you know, going to grip nicely onto my eyelids. Okay, so I'm going to start by playing around with BR6, the one with a very nice golden tone to it. And I'm going to start and use this color here. And I'm going to be using this eyeshadow brush. Mm. Okay, so the texture of this eyeshadow is actually very, very soft. So I have to be very careful with this because um, I might experience fallout. Okay, so I believe my eye base is now dry, and I'm just going to pat the color all over my eyelid. Hmm, it's actually a very nice color, very warm toned gold nice glitters on it as well but it's not like you know overpowering and overbearing but you can actually still see this very nice halo of pigment on the eyes oh that's actually very nice i was actually very surprised by the level of pigmentation with this eyeshadow color it's actually very nice it can be a nice one and done eyeshadow okay so i'm just gonna spread that out try to create a lift and just blend out along the edges it's actually a very nice color. Okay, I'm going to pick up more and maybe just intensify the color a bit. Now, I'm just patting it. I'm not using, like, you know, ex um, excessive windshield wiper motions. And the main reason why is because we can see that this has a lot of glitter in it. And if I use, like, very hard, like, you know, strokes on the eyes or, like, you know, even very hard buffing motions, I'm going to flick all of the glitter and for sure that will land here on my upper cheeks. Okay, that's actually a very nice color. What do you guys think? I think it's actually very pretty. Look at that. Very nice nuanced shade. It's also working very well with my uh, you know, skin tone. It's also working very well with my brown eyes. And the color of the eyeshadow is just really helping my eye color to pop out instantly. Very beautiful. Now I'm going to pick up this um, darkest shade here, shade letter D. And I'm going to use this as a eyeliner of sorts. And I'm just going to tap it gently here at the base of my lash line. Okay, so it's a very um, warm toned brown. There's a very nice uh, red undertones in it. It's not neutral at all. And I can also see that it has some shimmer and glitter on it. 
but I'm actually glad to see that it has more like you know the brown pigments than the glitter because if you're going to use this as a shade to enhance your lash line you really need something um, quite intense okay now that I'm playing around with this um, the texture of these eyeshadow reminds me of the Dior Quince it feels very creamy not chalky which is actually great because at least that would really help in ensuring that we don't get a lot of fallout here on our like you know upper cheeks okay this is a very nice subtle color i like the red undertone that i see with this eyeshadow and the main reason is because i have olive undertones on my skin so the red tones will just really help in ensuring that the color will pop on my skin and they will just you know work effortlessly together again here is a perfect description of what I say when Japanese eyeshadow products are very nuanced in shade. It's not overbearing, but you're actually able to build up the intensity to as much as you need. But then again, like you know, in doing this activity now, for sure I'm going to add a hint of eyeliner later because I don't expect this brown shade here to become more intense. I believe I have arrived at the intense shade that it can give onto my eyes okay so let me use a smaller eyeliner brush now because i'd like to see if i could get any more intensity at the base of my lashes okay i'm just patting the color here and then i'm just gonna wiggle that into my base and tap it in okay so no this is as intense as it's going to get okay so let me get the brush that i used earlier and let me just brush the edges here being very slowly with it and just blending out everything so we have very nice like you know soft transition of color okay that's actually very very pretty and let me add a hint of that here on my lower lash line here in the outer edges okay and i'm actually quite happy to see that like you know in using these two colors alone, I have this very nice subtle but enhanced um, eye look going on in my eyes. Very pretty, very pretty. Look at that. Very beautiful. Okay, so let's continue to build up this, like, you know, eye some more. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up more of this brown shade here. Okay, I'm just going to tap off the excess here at the back of my hand. And I'm going to use this here along my socket line and my crease. Mm, nice application of pigment. Instant payoff. But you don't get this very intense um, color application when your brush lands into your eyes. And again, I am loving this very nice creamy texture that I can see and feel with this formula and it's actually very easy to blend out okay let me just buff out the edges and blend it out i'm actually quite happy to see that like you know i have enough pigment in this brown shade here that can really add like you know definition because when i picked this up like you know at the drugstore i was a little bit worried because i can see a lot of shimmer and sh glitter on it and i was like worried that i'm going to have more glitter than actual pigment but as you guys can see we have enough pigment on this palette okay so i'm just gonna buff out the edges continually and to create a lift for my eye very beautiful i like that so I'm just going to continue to create the shape that I need for my eye. So I'm going to add more of that brown tone here in the lower portions of my outer lash line at the bottom. Create a lift there. Buff out the excess product here at the back of my hand and then blend that into my socket line and crease. Now what I am going to do is we'll try this shade here. So this is shade letter C. Now according to the website, this is what you're actually going to use to add intensity on the outer portions of your eyes, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use this as a topper shade of sorts because if we take a look at the swatch here on my arm, it also looks more like, you know, bright than shade B here. And it has some 
like you know nice shimmer on it so maybe this will act as a nice like you know topper shade because if i add this color for sure in the outer portions of my eye that's just going to get rid of all of the like you know subtle definition that i created here and i'm so glad that i didn't do that because as you guys can see it's already giving like you know my um, mobile lid a very nice pop of color very beautiful this is actually a very lovely palette okay so i'm gonna use the lightest shade now here on the palette and I'm gonna use this like, you know as a highlight color of sorts and we always put that here in the inner okay so I think I have excess color here on the brush head okay all right so I'm gonna add it here on the inner corner of the eyes very subtle shade so let me try to intensify that a bit more now the color here reminds me of the NARS like, you know, highlighting um, uh product called albatross it has a very nice like you know golden tone to it very pretty i kind of like it now i'm actually very tempted of putting this here on my brow bone area but i think it's just way too glittery or maybe let me just add a hint of that here at the high like just right under my brows here just so that we guys can see that and then just out of curiosity and i'm gonna pick up some of this shade and I'm gonna tap that right here in the middle. Hmm, and that actually adds a very nice hint of dimension into the eye look. Very, very nice. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a hint of eyeliner now, just at the very base of my lashes, and I'm gonna keep quiet when I'm doing this. And just before that eyeliner dries down, I'm gonna go back and pick up the brown shade here. And I'm just going to lightly pat that color on top of the eyeliner, buff it a little bit, just so that it's going to soften the edges. Because the eyeshadow look here is actually very soft, so you don't really want to have that very stark black eyeliner there. And adding this very nice brown shade on top of that just uh, like you know, adds into a much more cohesive eye look. Okay, so I'm actually very happy on how all of that worked well. Very beautiful, very pretty. And to finish that off, I'm just going to add a hint of mascara. Okay, what do you guys think? Very nice color. I love it. Very subtle. But you have this very nice softly enhanced gold tone eyeshadow look going on. Very pretty. Okay, so let's go on and try the other shade on this eye now. Okay, so this is eyeshadow palette BR6. I'm going to start with this very nice like you no know, pinky shade here very nice subtle color and this is what i'm going to use like you know as an all over base color here on this eye okay, i'm just going to tap the brush here onto my eyelid area it's creating a very nice base color look at that very beautiful very pretty again very subtle and i'm just going to blend that outwards and upwards so it has a much more opaque finish in comparison to um, the other colors that I used earlier which is actually quite interesting look at that so it has a hint of like you know shimmer on it but it's actually very very delicate you don't actually like you know really see it I actually love this shade like you know um, it reminds me of the shade Fresco from Laura Mercier but this one is more blue it's more cool toned actually a very nice color look at that so i was a little bit worried because like you know sometimes with pink eyeshadows if it's too like you know warm like you know it has more red pigments in it it actually makes you look like your eyes are sick but with this one a very nice well-balanced color it's just looking like my skin actually but more enhanced this is actually a very pretty color i like that okay so now what i'm gonna do is i will like you know just play around I have nothing like you no know, really planned with this so I'm gonna start by playing around with this color here so I'm just gonna remove a little bit of this at the back of my hand and I'm gonna start by applying this color here on my lash line I'm not being very precise with it but I'm just like you know, really blending it into my lashes and into the eyeshadow color that I applied all over okay I have to be careful with this color because it's quite warm it's more red so um if you have very fair skin tones and you use this it might make you look like you um are sick 
But so far, this is working well with me, but I think I just need to add a hint of this deep shade now here onto my lash line just to kill that redness that I see. And I'm just going to tap that here onto my lash line and blend both colors. Hmm. Okay, so I kind of prefer that. That's a very nice combination of color. You know, the, the coolness of this is just really helping out to balance the warmth of this shade here. Okay, and I'm just going to be more detailed with my application now. So I'm going to pick up more of this brown shade here. Again, very wonderful creamy uh, texture. And I'm going to apply that here onto my lash line. Ooh, I kind of like how this progressed. And I like the intensity of these eyeshadow colors. They're working very well together. And they're very easy to blend and they're very easy to mix. Look at that. Very subtle, very soft. Like, you know, eyeliner on my lash line, but it's just like, you know, helping to create my um, eye into making it look more like, you know, awake and wide. And you know, like truthfully, I'll be very happy with this eye look. So I just had that very nice base color and then I had those two colors as like, you know, an eyeliner application. And if we apply, where is that? Ah, here, I found it. Okay, so if we're just going to apply like a very thin hint of eyeliner, and then I'm going to get quiet again. Then I'm going to pick up more of this shade here and a little bit of this. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that eyeliner, soften it a little bit just so that it looks smoky. See? Very nice. Very, um, like, you know, soft, alluring, like, you know, eye look. And if you just apply some mascara... I believe that this eye is now well dressed and you can actually use this like you know on a daily basis if you just don't want to um, like you know have a very strong eye look when you go to the office or if you're like you know going to the grocery or wherever it's just giving you this very nice like you know softly defined look and mind you I just applied most of the color here onto my um, upper lash line very nice. So if you're someone who's having trouble, like, you know, really applying color into like the socket line area, just try applying most of the colors in your lash line, like especially just as close to your lashes as possible and try to blend it out. That actually already does the job of dressing up your eye. Okay, so let's continue just to build up, um, like, you know, color on this eye because, like, you know, we're just playing around today. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick up this color now. And I'm using a squirrel brush for this because I don't want to pick up a ton of the pigment. And this is what I'm going to use like as a transition shade of sort. Ooh, that actually is a very beautiful color. I like that. What do you guys think? Look at that. Very nice color. Love that. Like, you know, it's a very nice spring color. Very beautiful. I'm actually very like, you know, um, excited on how um, this color will apply in a much more wider sense on the eye. Okay, so with the same shade, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that here in the outer V portion. Just blending it out, trying to create intensity there. Okay, and then I'm just going to create the shape for my eye. Perfect. Then remove any excess here at the back of my hand. And I'm going to blend that color into my socket line. And then with a clean brush, I'm just going to buff out the edges of that. Continue to soften it and to blend it outward and upward. Okay, now I'm going to get this brown shade here. Remove the excess. And I'm just going to tap that here in the outer V portion and blend that into the lash line area. And then I'm going to blend that into my socket line and crease area. Just so that we have soft definition of color there. Okay, so I'm just tapping more of the brush into the pigment here. Okay, I'm seeing some intensity now. And then I'm just going to blend that into my socket line and crease line again, just so that we have more definition of color. Again, I find it very remarkable that it's very easy to blend, like, you know, these eyeshadow colors very nicely, very nice creamy texture. And then, like, you know, I like that the level of, like, you know, intensity of the pigment is not too much because, like, you know, sometimes if you're, like, you know, very scared of adding more intensity, onto your eyeshadow look. Having pigments like these can just really help you in ensuring that like you know you are having a 
fail-safe application of color into the eyes, especially if you're a novice in like, you know, eyeshadow application. Okay, and with a pencil brush like this, quite dense and quite small, I'm going to tap it here on the dark brown color, a little bit on the pinky color here. And I'm just going to tap that here in the outer V portion, like, you know, the outermost layer. Try to blend it into the lash line. And I'm also going to blend that into my socket line just so that we have a concentration of color and intensity there. And because I already know, like, you know, the level of, like, you know, intensity of the pigment that this eyeshadow palette uh, gives, I know that if I use a smaller brush, I'm able to pick up more color and I'm able to leave more intense color in a specific area of the eyes. But it's not going to look muddy at all. So it still looks very nicely blended out. And that's also one thing that you have to uh, know for yourself is that you have to get to know your eyeshadow palette of your choice um, like you know intimately as possible so that you guys can understand how it works and how it builds color and then you can adjust accordingly okay I'm actually quite happy with that and finally with my finger I'm just gonna pick up the lightest shade on the palette here again I love the creaminess that I feel and I'm gonna tap that here into like my mobile lid Ooh, that's actually looking very, very pretty. Okay, so I actually went beyond my socket line and I'm just gonna use the brush that I used earlier to blend out the crease area because I don't want to, do, to add so much glitter there. Because I want to ensure that all my glitters are in that part of my eyelid. Very beautiful, very nice. Again, very, very easy to, like, you know, blend out and intensify so let me pick up a little bit more of this shade here and just tap it at the outer edges of that highlight color that i actually used on this eye perfect very nice very well blended very beautiful i like it okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add like you know a hint of foundation and some concealer and some finishing touches so that we guys can just appreciate how nice these eyeshadows look on my eye at the moment okay Okay, so everything is now clean in my under eye area. I don't have any fallout left and I still have a lot of my skincare on. So if you're interested to know what I already have on my skin, everything is listed down on the description box, okay? Um, everything that I use today is on the description box. So go check that out if you're interested. So okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a hint of foundation and I'm going to be using my Armani Luminous Silk today. And I'm just going to spread a very thin layer of this all over my face. Okay, now I'm going to add some tiramisu from NARS in their Soft Matte Concealer. And I'm just going to add a thin layer of that here in my under eye area. I love this formula too. Look at that. Very nice brightening effect. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Love that. Okay, next it's time for us to set our concealer with some powder. And I'm using my Givenchy Prism Lib in Voile Rose. I always um, call this powder as you know, Prism Libre, but I do apologize for that. Um, it's actually not my intention to do so. It's just like, you know, the Spanish heritage in me. <laughs> and then because I have a hint of like, you know, color on my face, I am going to be using the color Popeline Mimosa. Just a very light hint of it, like, you know, on the outer perimeters of my face. And I'm going to be using this very nice like, uh, brush from Chikahodo, the MKSK, one of my most favorite brushes. And I'm just adding the powder in a like, you know, bronzer kind of way because after all, this Popoline Mimosa has a hint of color in it. It will just really help to ensure that everything is blended nicely together. But I'm not going to overdo the powder because I still want to see this very nice, like, you know, luminosity pushing through from the foundation okay. next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hint of blush and I'm gonna be using this color fresco from Laura Mercier I'm using my MKUM brush for this and I'm just gonna tap it lightly here on my cheeks there's a very nice neutral shade to it with a hint of warmth almost like a like you know peachy undertone and the reason why I chose this color is because I just want to keep my face neutral for us because after all, we have two different eyeshadow colors that we tried today. This will just give us a very nice hint 
of color on the cheeks. And before I close out this video, let us like, you know, finish off this eye. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this brown shade here and some of this gold. And I'm going to apply that here onto my lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it upward. Very nice. I love that. I love this eyeshadow palette. Very pretty. And then also on this eye, so I'm going to get BR6 here. Yeah. And I'm just going to add a hint of the color here in the outer portions of my lower lash line. Okay, I love the smokiness coming through. Okay, blend everything. And then with the deep shade here, pick up some more and tap that into the lash line, the outer portion, and just blend everything. Now what I appreciate about like, you know, these eyeshadow colors right now is that although if they do look very, like, you know, shiny and shimmery, you don't get a lot of that shimmery thing peeking through that kind of like, um, like you know, um, disrupts the eye shape that you're trying to create because it still has enough pigment to actually add definition. And that's something that's very important to me when I am, like, you know, buying eyeshadow makeup products. It has to have the right amount of pigment to be able to let me define my eye. And the very nice balance of shimmer into the formula just adds like, this very nice hint of brightness that just like don't really dress up your eye, but like, you know, it still helps you to maintain your eye shape that you created because like you know if you're using like you know one entire like you know eyeshadow colors with so much shimmer it's just like you know you're just gonna lose definition and like you know it's such a waste that you're trying to create like you know a much more like you know defined um uh like you know socket line or outer v portion and it's just not working so it just means that you have a lot of shimmer in that eyeshadow product and you don't have a lot of pigment that they can actually help you to create definition but i'm so glad that with these kate tokyo designing brown eyes palette they actually work for me so now i'm kicking myself why i only have two shades i should have bought more because they actually look very beautiful okay so i believe we have come to the end of my vlog for today so if you guys have more questions about how i use these kate tokyo designing brown eyeshadows or any other makeup products that i use today please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it all right so that's it for me today i'm gonna let you guys go now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are Bye.